that one down at the University of Alabama uh, who was killed by a retaining wall in a basement trying to take cover. And this guy, you know, I didn't really understand when I read the story if it was this wind that blew it over, I guess it was, that uh, that sort of thing happened. But certainly uh, the people who make storm shelters have got to be getting better business now, you know, after the past couple of two or three years. Channel 6 covering a family out at Welty that lost uh, their home. Patrick Ray's family uh, talked to reporters from Channel 6 yesterday. Uh, apparently, though, the owner said, you know what, it's only brick and mortar, wood and nails. Those things can be replaced. My family can't be, and he's right. And the bottom line, if you've got your safety and you've got your family, that's what matters. The question, though, leads to this situation. And we've dealt with this, I don't know, two or three times in the past four or five years. What happens in the future? Now think about this. Anytime that a storm comes through, the power in Coleman County comes from Muscle Shoals area, one set of lines going back and forth. It takes one straight line, one tornado between us and there, and it knocks it out and we're out of power. And how do we communicate? How do authorities, how do leaders, how do officials communicate with the people? When the ice storm of 96 came, thank goodness, WKUL had a generator backup service. You know, we were out of power here for, what, eight, ten days? Something like that in Coleman County. It was cold, below freezing. How does that happen? I don't see a whole lot of results in all the talk. We talked to a number of people on our show here at Channel 2, asking them, well, what about the future? What are you working on? How will you establish communication with people whose cell phone battery will go dead in another two days? Okay, powers are down. And the word was, well, we're looking at weather radios and going th that means of communication. So all you have to do is turn your scanner on and you've got a, a broadcast. Well, okay, fine, well and good, but what's happening in the meantime? It seems like the wheels of of scrutiny and of common sense turn very slowly at times in America. Uh, also, Alabama Republican Party Chairman Bill Armistead says that uh, he does not like what's going on in one of our races, the Gang of Four campaign uh, ad run by Chad Mathis and the District 6 congressional race involving Scott Beeson, Will Brooke, Paul DeMarco, and Gary Palmer. They're, apparently he's, con he's going on the negative but when it's a tight race, you got so many contenders. And the same thing basically is happening in Coleman County with an associate commissioner race, you know. you got so many people running for the same one. It's Danny Yarbrough's West Side Commissioner, or rather, uh, uh, West, Out, West Side Commissioner race. Anyway, uh, with the pressure mounting on trying to keep our freeway systems in shape, the Obama administration yesterday opened the door to states to start collecting tolls on interstate highways to raise revenue to keep them repaired. You know, the government forces car manufacturers to get better gas mileage, and we don't, I don't argue with that. But then when you consider that there's a 18.4 cent federal tax, gas tax that goes, that you pay per gallon, okay, or thereabouts, yeah then what you've got is less revenue because people, gas, uh, rather, uh, car companies are getting bas better gas uh, mileage, you know? So the, the revenue is down. But the thing that really kind of is, is bothersome is when government wants to, you know, you, you give somebody a job and you say, okay, stay, stay at it. And they're going to continue to think of things to do, right? They regulate the amount of water coming out of your shower head when you take a shower. Your lawnmower will only has a governor on it so that whenever it's not in meeting resistance then it starts idling down so what you've got there is you have to be careful going into high grass I mean it just keeps on going you know uh, light bulbs you know try to find a regular uh, uh, filament type light bulb now because I read where Lowe's had a big inventory six months inventory they said but those are against the law now you got to buy the more expensive ones the government gets into everything doesn't it in Oklahoma, McAllister, Oklahoma, they were putting 38-year-old Clayton Lockett, a murderer, to death with a lethal injection, but it didn't work. 
After 10 minutes, he began clenching his teeth and such. In Alabama, they're out of the chemicals it takes to do lethal injection. There wasn't a bill passed that would provide an anonymity for the people who make these drugs, so they, didn't, they don't have any more. Those companies, understandably, want to hold on to their anonymity, you know, but to make it public would be a situation that they feel is intolerable. And now, according to Harvard University's Institute of Politics, they're saying that people aged 18 to 29 have lost trust in the Supreme Court, the federal government as a whole, the president, the military, and the Congress. Traditionally, the military always held the trust level of young people. But now we have a different story. The question is, how do we deal with this in the future? Stay tuned. More for today on 2 after this. In the nation... We reward safe driving. Add vanishing deductible from Nationwide Insurance and get $100 off every year of safe driving, which means you could save a lot of Benjamins. We put members first because we don't have shareholders. Join the nation. Nationwide is on your side. As Sheriff of Coleman County, I will set a new standard in drug enforcement across Coleman County by using my training, my qualifications, and my experience in working with other local, state, and other law enforcement agencies across the state of Alabama and Coleman County to go after not only lower level drug distributors, but the upper level drug traffickers in Coleman County. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election. Finders Keepers is a unique and fun shopping experience. Lovely antiques, collectibles, or vintage items, we have what you're looking for at Finders Keepers in downtown Coleman. Furniture, repurposed items, and treasures from the past, they all make the store a fun place to shop. Handmade baby and children's fashion accessories and even original art are offered by local artisans. It's truly a unique shopping experience. Finders Keepers. We continue with more of Today on 2, and this is giveaway time, or at least quiz time. And let's see what we have for prizes for today. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, the Family Barbecue Pack, is our prize for today. Do we have anything else that goes along with that? We're sorting through the closet, see okay. if you get back. Okay, that's it for today. Now let's look at our merchant ads and see what... Uh, we want you to pay attention to the ads because we're going to ask you a question about one of these merchant ads. And we start with Tires for Less. More than just tires, they have Bridgestone and Firestone tires, of course, but they do minor engine repair. They do oil changes, replace shocks and brakes. See Greg and the guys at Tires for Less. The H. Chance Christian Bookstore. Grab it, engrave it, and go. Engraving for wood and metal products, personalized wedding anniversaries, gifts for deacons, customize your gift for Mother's Day. All these are for all occasions. Just do that at Yates Chance Christian Bookstore. Pizza Hut in Coleman. Let's see, today's Wednesday. That's 50 cent wing day. And of course, they have the all you can eat lunch buffet 11 till 2 every day at $6.49 per person. Coleman Pizza Hut. And Hansful Drug, a blast from the past. You know, they've been open since 1925 at serving ice cream treats from the original soda fountain. Always old time friendly service, always great sales on the corner of Commercial Street, right there at the Hansful Drug Store. Hair by Loretta and new customers get a $5 discount. Call and make an appointment today. Hair by Loretta, located in the Kalos Salon on First Avenue Southwest. And the confetti cake blizzard is still available, but today's the last day. It's the blizzard of the month for April, so stop by Dairy Queen and take advantage of their confetti cake blizzard. Ooh, that looks just so good. They're just down to the bottom of the 
okay. pan today. Okay. Good. Cotton State Barns of Coleman, where you can buy or rent to own carports, play sets, utility trailers, and storage buildings. Cotton State Barns of Coleman is right by the interstate on Highway 278. Earl's Body Shop voted best towing service. And of course, David, Diane, and the employees want to thank you for that great honor. They have large and small towing available local or long distance, and this is at Earl's Body Shop. Be Fit Fitness Facility, located right downtown Coleman next to Renard's Gallery. Change your life and your body. Personal trainer is included. And Mr. Hicks Menswear, it is your prom destination. They've got great tuxedos available for prom or weddings or special occasions. Go see David, uh, uh, go see Mr. Hicks Menswear. Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, where you can get the family barbecue pack of the pound of meat, two sides, and four buns, priced at just $13.99. That's our prize for today as well. There we go with the merchant ads for today. Question for today, tell us the name of the business that does major engine repair, transmission repair, brake repair, things like that, the big stuff. The big stuff, major engine repair. Tell us what is the name of the business, and you received the family pack from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue in Berlin. I haven't talked to Mike to see if he survived storm damage because oh, they I did know. have about that. damage in Berlin the yes, other day. They did. 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. Go ahead and call in right now while we watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. to tell you about how internet banking can be beneficial to a small business. Internet banking can help a small business reconcile bank statements, make transfers, along with various other functions. I hope that this will make running your business a little easier. Thank you. Well, let's see. We don't have any phone calls. You want to go for barbecue? Uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we ought to get a couple of friends. You yes. get a lot of barbecue out there. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the rest of our merchant ads right now. We'll ask you about these in coming programs, starting with Alabama sunrooms and awnings. And they do, of course, sunrooms and screen rooms, patio and deck covers, awnings, metal roof, vinyl siding, garages and buildings. Call for a free estimate. And Deb's Bookstore, it's just down the road from us, right there in the middle of Coleman. Have gift certificates available, browsers are always welcome. Used books are half price off every day. New books are 20% off every day at Deb's Bookstore. Here we go, Auto Tech Repair and Service. This is the business that does major engine repair, transmission and brake repair on all vehicles, foreign and domestic. They're in Vinemont, County Road 1354. Coleman Wellness and Aquatic Center features full fitness center complete with weights, cardio and professional training, indoor rubberized walking track, a variety of aerobic and cycling classes, indoor leisure pool and whirlpool spa. Brown and Company Beverages, where good taste begins. They have domestic and imported beer, regional and local beer and wines, ciders, meads, mixes and gourmet sodas. And Mullins Body Shop, you've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair and towing and you can continue to count on them today. Call Sunny, Stacy, Beth or Jim. Jolly Time Rentals, where fun is always in the air. They have the license, those big inflatable slides and water slides, bounce slide activities and concession equipment. Call Holly Mullins to book yours today. And the Grand Point Pharmacy open as early as 7 and 30 in the morning, Monday through Saturday. Original home of the Two Old Goats product line. Don't let allergies blow you away. Get them before you, they get you, and you can have all kinds of allergy products pr uh, purchased there. Candle Garden in a new location right downtown Coleman, next to Moe's Barbecue. And, of course, they do the hand-poured candles. They have gift items. Stop by the store and uh, see what's going on at the Candle Garden. There we go with our merchant ads. Now it's time to check birthdays. Let's see who celebrates on the final day of April. Well, it looks like C.L. Lee Jr. is going to have a birthday along with Rhonda Stallings and Cheryl Hill. And Cheryl, all these names will be put into the drawing on Friday where they have the possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. We are going back to high school and take a class that we wish was available when we were in high school, yeah, aren't we? No such animal okay. at that time. Johnny Burks is our guest and he is going to talk about forensic science right after this. Currently there are 206 registered sex offenders in Coleman County that are allowed to operate on the honor system. Within four weeks of taking office, they will be checked monthly by every deputy. I want every one of my deputies to know where their sex offenders live in their communities, 
and as they are traveling up and down the roads protecting you and they see a bicycle in a registered sex offender's yard, they will pull over and check and see why there is a child at that house and if there's a potential victim. At Premier Bank, we are very proud of the long-lasting relationships we have with our customers. We'll go almost anywhere to meet your banking needs. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising, and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Meet the KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. It might just change the way you cook. Induction technology heats the pan and not the cooking surface to offer you a new level of precision, speed, and energy efficiency. Nine settings give you different levels of heat to achieve precise temperatures and amazing responsiveness. Water boils in just seconds, making this the fastest to boil induction cooktop available. The KitchenAid 36-inch induction cooktop. Welcome back to Today on Two. As we mentioned, Johnny Burks is our guest, and uh, Mr. Burks teaches forensic science at Coleman High School. Johnny, good to have you on the program today. Thank you. How did this class get started at Coleman? Well, it was about almost 10 years ago, and um principal met with the science department and we were going over we always evaluate our curriculum and look to see if there's any, any new sciences out there that the kids might be interested in and the state had approved um, forensics as a curriculum and um, so we um, debated it amongst ourselves as teachers we talked about it and then um, lo and behold it was thrown in my lap yeah so you got to be the lucky teacher <laughs> i got to be the lucky teacher and so about 10 years later i'm still plugging along at it and it's grown and and um as i mentioned we were we we're still one of the few school systems in the state that still offer it and um we're still excited about it and kids love it and we you know kids nowadays are and i say kids young adults they're taking this in college that's what oh yeah the every every yeah. yeah every school has a criminal not every but most mm -hmm. every school has a criminal justice uh, program okay. and it's a lead into that we feel like we give them a good foundation when they mm -hmm. enter that type of area and we've got since we started the program i can't tell you every year how many students choose criminal justice as a major. Now do you have more guys or more girls? Mm -hmm. or is it's it split. It's split. split. Okay. Mm -hmm. And All there are right. so many avenues. Today I was telling the students yesterday in class, I mean right now you're, you're looking at careers that weren't there 10 years ago because accounting. A lot of kids go to school for accounting. Well mm -hmm. t today there's forensic accounting mm -hmm. and the kids are looking at me like what? I yeah. was like well cybercrime and I gave them for right. instance how somebody had taken my or stolen my um, ATM credit, you know, card number, material, magnetic material uh, numbers, and had um, stolen money out of my account. And how Regions Bank and places like that hire companies, and their job is cyber, you know, just finding, finding these numbers and tracking the information and and solving these type of crimes. And when I talked to Regions, um, they told me there were five. It involved me that day, but there were five other people that had their accounts mm -hmm. hacked. Well, so. FBI agents nowadays, a lot of them, mm -hmm. they're hiring are accountants mm -hmm. because they need those exactly. numbers type people and stuff. So it makes it a little bit more interesting. And I would imagine the program CSI has really sparked an interest as well. It started the, um, it started the wave of, of, of young kids becoming more and more interested in it. Um, uh, that kind of triggered it, and then it's kind of just evolved and, you know, on its own from, from, from the early days of CSI. Right. I got lucky when, when we started the program, I have to give a lot of credit to Mr. Ed Lee, who is, if you're in crime investigation in Coleman County, you would know Mr. Lee. Um, and and um, he had retired, and I, I was given his number, and I called him, and he came 
and talked to me, and I told him, I said, you know, I, I have a degree in biology, not <laughs> criminal justice. Yeah. And, and um, he, uh, he, ca he was so kind, and he drove from Smith Lake every day and, and spent the first part of his day in the mornings in class with us. And he was basically teaching the class, mm -hmm. and I was kind of learning it from him. He would leave about lunchtime, and then in the afternoon, I would go back, I would reteach what he had taught, and we spent almost a year. And um, I feel like I learned from the best because everybody in Coleman that I talked to, well, if you trained or learned under Mr. Lee, then you got the best. And so from him, I got a good foundation in it and, and um, have built it since and, and um, have, have, have really enjoyed it. And the kids, well, anytime, as I was telling you, anytime you can mention gore and, and uh, things like that, and <laughs> they, get, they get really uh, excited about it. Well, the thing that I'm impressed with is that you weren't happy with the the actual textbooks that you had available. No. You said they really weren't very good, so you just wrote your own. I exactly. mean, you know, how, how, how cool is that? <laughs> so right here, well, let's see, there it is. I collected the information. I had it in files, Word files, and, and then finally I, I started trying to find the... Uh, it was just more and more difficult to incorporate the textbook that we had. Either it was too advanced or too elementary. So I just took the files that I had gathered and just um, the text and just incorporated pictures, as you can see right there, incorporated pictures to make it more visual. Mm -hmm. And then Dr. Bolden at the high school gave me a good, um, um, backed me on um, helping finding the, the funding to, uh -huh. to get it printed. And so now the kids have something that they can actually use, not just look at, but they thumb through it. You're looking at fingerprinting right there. Mm -hmm. um, and we use it every day in class. And um, I noticed, Johnny, that uh, in going through the textbook that you had a section on drugs and meth use. Yes. Because of that, do you think that this is a deterrent for young people not to try that stuff? Oh, I know I hammer it in my class, and I explain fully to them um, the, the, the route of addiction, what stimulates it, what causes it, um, chemically, uh -huh. and then um, the end result, um, as you're looking there, you, I show them the end result of yeah. years of addiction and what happens, and, and I, I try to scare them. Yeah. Uh -huh. I try to scare them. This is not who you want to be, such as you've got a little girl right. here before meth, and then, that, and then up at the top, you can see right there, I don't know if you can see, I put, this could be your sister. And so yeah. I try to scare them into that, because meth right now in Coleman is... is is really bad. Mm -hmm. The numbers are really, really high. And so I chose it as a lead into crime investigation of drug related crime. This is the drug. Right. Let them see how it affects the body, and then we right. take a look at how you investigate mm -hmm. drug and criminal activity and things of that nature. I, th I think, and I don't want to get into the drug part of it, but I think people don't realize that methamphetamine eats holes in the brain, eats holes in the teeth, mm -hmm. and you totally, it does transfigure your whole body. Mm -hmm. So if you're in the least bit, have any kind of self-worth about you, you wouldn't want to do it for that reason. Exactly. You know? when you, um, the thing is, the people that smoke and inhale the meth, it hits the teeth, it destroys the saliva, and so the bacteria on the teeth just, since there's no saliva, which is a digestive enzyme, there's no saliva left to, uh, to combat the bacteria. The bacteria just start eating the enamel of the teeth, and so you wind up right here as you see meth mouth. And I show them that, and I tell them, I said, if you, when you walk out of here, I want this picture emblazoned in the back of your head that if I ever try meth, this could be the outcome right here. Mm -hmm. This, and you don't want that. I just tell them, yeah, put your hand over your mouth and say, yeah. no, 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 I don't want that right there. Right. So we, I try to scare them. I, I spend a lot of time with regard to drugs, and because um, uh, these kids, they're young, they're impressionable. They, they try, they. They well, experiment, cool. they it's experiment, cool. yeah. and trying to be the rebel, but then they need to, they need to see the outcome of it, and yeah. so hopefully that'll put a little fear in them. Yeah, it's just awful. Well, of course, this is for what age level? I know you're this in high is, school. Uh, we try to make sure that they go through um, bi uh, biology. They need a foundation in biology, and then, so usually biology is freshman and sophomore year. Usually we feel like junior and senior year, they're, they're mature enough to handle, because uh, as you've right. seen, some of the photographs in, in there pretty graphic, graphic. Yeah. and I tell them this is not a if you're squeamish and if you're you don't need you need to change your schedule this mm -hmm. is not for you and we'll have kids that don't after the first two or three days they get their <laughs> schedule changed and, they realize and they're gone saying, but yeah. but um, from day one we show them this is mature and by the end of the year they're they they, um, they take it very serious 
Well, good. Well, thank you. We've for got being large here. numbers. We've got over a yeah. hundred kids that take it. And, wow. And yeah. I, like I said, I, I don't know the full numbers, but um, we show them there that there is a route, a route in college with criminal justice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much mm -hmm. for being here today. We appreciate it. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll be back with more right after this. There's stuff around your house, but we don't make stuff. We make ovens. Dual fuel double ovens. And they bake so evenly that now delicious is something you can depend on. We only make things for one room. The best room. Your kitchen. We're devoted to it. And you can feel it in everything we make. Nobody knows the kitchen like KitchenAid. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor our loan program to your specific needs and requirements. We have to be more responsive to the needs of victims within our community. And we will do this by establishing a victim service unit within the Sheriff's Office utilizing the personnel there. This unit will also assist the victims of assault, domestic violence cases, to the needed people that they can speak to that will help them not only get self-help, but through the prosecution of their case. And I would like to ask for your vote on June 3rd in the 2014 Republican primary election. At Premier Bank, we take pride in serving our community. We respect our customers, and we've won awards for our ethical conduct. We're motivated to do all we can for you, and we're interested in your banking needs. We're efficient, safe, and sound, and our relationships with our customers are second to none. At Premier Bank, we put the customer first. Now it's time for our community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Baileyton Head Start will be taking applications for preschool services for children ages 3 to 5. Parents can call for an application 256-796-2834. And the annual American Cancer Society Relay for Life of Coleman County event, the reason the You're the Reason slideshow display will return for the 2014 event on May the 2nd through the 3rd at the Coleman County Fairgrounds. That is a mouthful. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in participating, you can give Gail Crutchfield a call at 865-323-4277. And the Coleman Strawberry, Strawberry Festival, a 5K, 10K run, will be taking place Saturday, May the 10th at 8 o'clock in the morning at Fest Hall and the 5K will talk, cost you $25 for an entry fee and 10K is 30. More information, contact Katie Free at 256-507-1533. And if you have a billboard you'd like to share with us, you can email it to channel 2 common at gmail.com, phone 256-734-7399, or be a friend on Facebook, Channel 2 Coleman. The weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. It'll be partly sunny later on today with a high near 70. Cloudy tonight, low 44. Sunny tomorrow with a high around 69. And let's see, who's our guest for tomorrow? Well, let me check that out. Let's see. It looks like Helen Allen here to talk to us about Relay for Life. And that's uh, this weekend. Is that right? It is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it is. Big event, and that's at... Sportsman Lake Park. Well, right? at the fairgrounds. Oh, at the fairgrounds. Yeah, well, at, okay. But Near, I think in, in the building. Yeah, in that yeah. in a building. So, okay. yeah. Okay. More details on that tomorrow. Yeah. That's our program for today. Brought to you by Premier Bank. Hope you have a great day. 